Over the summer, Liam had been experiencing some mild pain in his stomach. One day, he woke up severely sick, and his health had taken a turn for the worse. He had C. diff. He had possible Crohn's disease going on. It was a perfect storm for the Delta variant to infect Liam's intestines. I couldn't go over and see him, which was ripped my heart out. So, I mean, that made things 10 times worse because here he was in a strange city, in a strange hospital, all by himself. His infection is an example of a breakthrough case. According to the CDC, vaccine breakthrough cases occur in only a small percentage of vaccinated people. As of August 2nd, 2021, there have been over 7,000 people hospitalized with breakthrough cases. 1,507 have died so far. Dr. Lauren Willis, a pediatric gastroenterologist, is pleading with parents and those able to get vaccinated to do so because she says the future looks bleak. So we really um, really need Montanans to be um, caring for their fellow citizens. It's really important. We're starting to see children get extremely ill and even die. The Texas Children's Hospital in Houston has seen COVID positive cases rise from 3% to 10% among children. In Arkansas, COVID-19 hospitalizations rose by 103 to 1,376. Arkansas's Children's Hospital reported 27 children were hospitalized with COVID-19. 12 patients are in intensive care, eight are on ventilators, three children have died so far. Myers hopes that she'll be able to hold her son again. Right now, our main goal is to get him better and the principal at East Middle School Keith Miller has been fabulous working with me he said just get him better they'll worry about school later and we have a wonderful team of doctors here in Butte it, everybody's been really supportive in Butte Caitlin Aguilas MTN News